But I want to give you a little something today. I've been thinking and thinking and thinking on this topic of anxiety, depression, stress, worry, right? And you've heard me talk before about these emotional injuries and how we need to take care of these emotional injuries just like we take care of our physical injuries. So I want to talk to you about this concept of when our bodies are under attack, right? Our immune system is under attack. What happens? We come down with a fever or we have the stomach bug and we're throwing up, we're having diarrhea, we get sick. And our body is telling us that something is wrong, right? And what do we do? We shift to healing mode. When we have a fever, if our child has a fever, so just thought, think about the last time your child had a fever. We stop everything. We cancel all the plans for the day. Our children won't go to school. We may not go to work. And for that day, we are going to focus on doing what? Nourishing the body. Maybe we have the chicken noodle soup. We are resting the body. We are staying in bed, reading a book, watching our favorite movie. We want that comfort, right? So we can heal. We want to give time for our bodies to heal. Our body has everything it needs to heal. We just need to give our body the best conditions and the rest and the nourishment that it needs. Well, when we are feeling anxious and depressed and stressed and worried or grieving or any of these emotional um, injuries, these things are emotional attacks on our system. And what we need to do? We need to shift to healing mode. And we may have to pause. We may have to slow down. We may have to nourish the spirit, rest. We may have to find the comforts and do all these things just like we would do for the physical body when the physical body is under attack. We need to think of doing these same things when our body is under emotional attack. If our children had the fever, we focus our attention on them. We're on top of it. We're tracking that fever every hour, every few minutes, right? When our children are under emotional attack, we need to check in more often. We need to shift our attention again. And we know it takes a day or two and our bodies feel better, right? We get over the fever, the stomach bug. So it might take a day or two for our children to heal emotionally when you sense that they are having this emotional fever. So I just wanted to give you this concept for you to think about, right? Are we taking the time? I know this is uh, our culture doesn't support us taking these emotional breaks, right? Um, we can call in emotionally sick at work. <laughs> However, you know, there's so much for us to evolve as a society, as a community. But I think that this is really valid and crucial point for us to understand that it takes this amount of care and attention and nourishment to heal emotional injuries. We want to get through them, not get over them. And most importantly, we don't want to push. Just like if our body is telling us something is wrong, but we keep pushing. We get up, we go to work, we keep doing everything and ignore our body's warnings, right? The universe sends us a feather and then a brick and then a truckload. But eventually you have to stop. Your body will stop you. You will get sick enough that you have to take the break. You have to nourish, you have to rest. And the same will happen to us emotionally. If we just keep pushing and muscling through it and ignoring the signs, it will get worse and eventually it will stop us, right? So we really want to listen to the emotional um, fever, watch out for it, pay attention, and then really address it so we can heal it and give it a day or two, right? Um, that might be what we need and our children need to get through this. And I'm really hopeful that we in our corner of the world might be in this final stretch um, now with vaccines rolling out, the summer is coming. So 
So we may be in that final stretch, but I do believe that there's going to be a whole lot of collective healing to be done, right? To get over this, this was traumatic um, emotionally. It took a huge toll on all of us and especially our children. So this is just a little bit for thought and let me know what you're thinking. Any questions? So that's it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.